Hi, thanks for watching the movie trailer about my father, Muhammad Ali. One day, uh, it was a time when my father come pick me up and go to Michigan and spend some time together. So I was at my grandma's house waiting, looking out the window, waiting for him to come through. So I'm up here looking out the window, waiting until I see the car, you know, pull up. The car pulled off. Like, he picked his, picked me up, we headed to Michigan. It was a TNA a, uh, stop where the truckers could go and fill up the gas, get some food, relax, unwind, stretch out. So we stopped there. I said, Daddy, I'm going to get me something to eat. Uh, I'll be right back. So I went to go get me a burger or something to drink and came back out. And I looked, I was like, where's my dad? Uh, where'd he go? So at that point, I was bawling in tears. Mind you, I'm like 14 or 15 years old and I'm crying. So one white couple came and said, what's wrong? I was like, oh, I was going to get something to eat. My father just left me up here. I remember the number to Michigan. So I called Michigan. I got in touch with Lonnie. I said, Lonnie, Daddy just left me up here at the, at the travel lodge. Uh, when he come in, can you tell him to come back and get me? She was like, well, I can't leave at this time because I'm doing something, but if the, when your father come in, I'm gonna let him know to come back and get you. He never made it home. He remember he had somebody to come, so he turned around. Came back, I was, I was looked at him. I was like, "Why'd you leave me like that? I mean, you left me stranded up here. I told you I was gonna get something. What happened? And I forgot I had somebody in the car with me. I didn't know Parkinson's was setting in this time. Wait until I see the car. You know, pull up. The car pulled. His it was documentary a TNA. tells the story of champion boxer like, Muhammad Ali through the eyes of his uh, only biological go. son, Muhammad Ali Jr. Muhammad Jr. Mind struggled you, I'm like 14 with bullying, years old, abandonment, I'm addiction, family, and heartbreak to ultimately was like, find peace. Oh, I was gonna get some leave. So I called Michigan. I got in touch with Lonnie. I said, Lonnie, Daddy just left me up here at the. I turned around, came back. I was, I was looked at him, I was like, why'd you leave me like that? I mean, you left me stranded up here. I told you I was going to get something to eat. What happened? And I forgot I had somebody in the car with me. I didn't know Parkinson's was setting in at the time. 